thanks very much. Just getting all of my systems working here. <laughs> um, thanks very much. So um, thanks to uh, Saul and Mamadou and Francesco and student Anna and Nancy. Always good to, to see all of you. And thanks very much to the organizers for the opportunity to, to talk a little bit about the Global Action Plan and how that links very much to this Africa drylands discussion. So in WFP, we have gotten really excited about the gap. Um, we see this as a, as a new approach to sustainable solutions. It, it does offer a little bit of a paradigm shift, we believe. And we believe that it matches with sort of our, our WFP vision where yes, we wanna look at, at wasting, but wasting in context of all forms of malnutrition and really look at prevention, maternal nutrition, leaving no one behind, especially those in fragile and conflict affected states. You know, tonight over 690 million people will go to bed hungry, including tens of millions of children who won't sleep well, won't grow well, won't run and play, won't be able to concentrate in school. And we really believe that the food security and nutrition plays a vital role in contributing to positive development and sustainable peace. And that the growing food insecurity and hunger, as Saul said, we've not really managed to tackle this issue. And it is undermining the most vulnerable people on our globe, particularly children, pregnant and breastfeeding women, people living with HIV. And one of the things that's happening is that our coverage of our programs is simply too low. We know we have to do things differently. We need to reach more children. We need to reach more people. I mean, we've just the recent analysis coming out of the, the Sahel, thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic in part, is showing that in 2020, there could be an increase of 21% of malnourished children. Um, in three countries alone, up to 2.9 million, including 890 million suffering from severe acute malnutrition. The, the numbers are staggering and the situation on the ground is even worse. So it's, it's our real pleasure to come together with the other UN agencies, but not limited to the other UN agencies. That's just how it's being spearheaded, but this is very much a country -driven, um, driven uh, program that we're working on where we ask each of the UN agencies to, to play to, to our particular strengths, but also look at what the context is in country. So one of the things that I just wanted to talk about with this gap that I think is really interesting for, for all of the, the, the people listening is that it really does have this systems approach that, that, that we've heard about. And so we're really looking at how does the health system, Francesco talked about that a lot, how does the social protection system and how does the food system all contribute to addressing wasting because we know if we leave it up to just one system like the health system we're going to lose out and not understand the underlying causes so for wfp we're, we're particularly excited at trying to think about things like how does the dry land food ecosystem offer potential to support dry land communities how do national social protection systems include or exclude the most vulnerable communities how are national systems backing things like livestock insurance climate protection. So these are things which allow us to see how we can use different systems to really make changes. So as you know, we have 23 frontrunner countries and many of those are in dry land areas, including Kenya, Sudan, Niger, Mali, Ethiopia, Burkina Faso, all who are dealing with the wasting issue within the dry lands context. So we're, we're, we're in WFP are really focusing on these fragile contexts that can't always be reached by government-led systems. We're supporting more resilient and healthy food systems and social protection systems that are nutrition sensitive. And we're also looking at how to leverage the private sector and look at markets, look at supply chains, look at government systems so that all of these can come together and really promote um, better, better approaches to ending this problem of malnutrition in dry land areas. And what we believe is that there's two main things to think about. One is the layering of interventions and looking at how the three systems do come together. And the second is the context. And that's ensuring that we understand the specific, the specific context of wherever that is, in this case, the Africa drylands, in order to drive a solutions-oriented response with the government. 
So at WFP, we're really happy to be a part of this. And thank you so much. I echo what Saul said. We really, really enjoyed this series of discussions and we really appreciate the opportunity to contribute. Thanks, Greg.